In this lesson, I will tell you about inquiry command of AutoCAD. Using inquiry command, you can find different values of a drawing, for example, length, area, perimeter, diameter, radius, etc. So let's move on to this utilities panel on home tab and click on this flyout. From this flyout, select distance. Now click at a point from where you want to start finding length. Uh, this time I'm selecting at this point. Now click at this point. And once you're finished with the selection, you'll notice on command line, we can expand it a little bit to see it more clearly that we have a distance of 1490.1825 between the selected points. We not only have this distance, we also have its angle that is 270 degrees in XY plane and other related values. Now let's press escape to exit this command and go to this utilities panel again. From this panel, click on the flyout and select radius. We can use this radius for finding radius of circle, arc or fillets. So let's go to this circle, zoom this area and click here. And as soon as you do the selection, you'll see on command line that the radius is 168 units and the diameter is 336 units. Let's now press escape and press enter again to repeat the command. Now, once I press enter, you'll notice that I have this major geometry command activated. And from this command, I can directly activate the related value which I want to find. So let's select radius and click on this fillet. So this is the fillet, the radius for which we want to find. The radius in this case is 72 units and the diameter is 144 units. Let's press escape again to exit this. Now using a similar method, we can find different values like area as well. So let's zoom this area. And now here we'll find out the area of this yellow rectangle in such a way that the area of this white rectangle is not included. So let's select utilities panel, this flyout and select area. So here we have this area. We have some options here, but we are not going to look at these options for now. Let's click on this first point, then on second point, then on this third point and on fourth point. So once you have made all this selection, press enter. Now this will tell you the complete area, which is this long 115850 units and the perimeter of the geometry, which we have selected. Now, as I told you, we don't want this complete area. We want area of this remaining geometry. So for that, we need to subtract this small geometry. So let's go to area again. And this time I'll select subtract area. Now go to this point, then at this point, then at this point, and lastly at this point. And now press enter. So now we have subtracted the area. Let's go and add the area. So let's go and add area. So here we have this complete area. Let's select all the four points which we have initially selected and press enter again. So now we have a resultant area, which is 1000104 units. Now this area is obtained by subtracting the smaller rectangle from the larger one. Let's press escape to exit this. Now in order to find angle between two different lines, we can use angle of this major geometry command. So let's zoom in this area, go to utilities flyout. Select this and select angle. Now you need to click only on two different lines. So here I have this first line and here I have the second one. Now, as soon as our selection is complete, you'll notice on command line, we have an angle of 111 degrees in between these two line segments. Now, these are pretty straightforward methods of finding the areas or different values of this geometry. But what about this geometry? So now here I have a geometry. Let's press escape to exit that command. And in this geometry, we have a pretty random shape here. We cannot directly click on the end points of these boundaries because we have a fillet here and we cannot have a end point or a edge for this fillet. So in this case, we need to employ a different method for finding area. So for this, I'll use boundary command. So from this draw panel, hatch flyout, select this boundary. 
Now, once you select this boundary creation box will pop up, click on this pick points and click inside this area. Now, as soon as you'll click inside, you'll notice that a polyline will be created and press enter. So now we have this polyline and in order to find the area, we only need to find out the area enclosed by this polyline. So let's go to this utilities panel again on this flyout and select area. Now, instead of selecting any random points, this time I'll select object from command line and now click directly on this polyline which we have created and the complete region will be selected. Now you'll notice the area is 11504.9448 units and we also have the perimeter for this geometry. So in this way we can find the area of this organic shape as well. Let's press escape to exit this command.